Stone Cold, you're fired. 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 This UFC, the last of Stone Cold Steve Austin. The following night on Raw, Mr. McMahon celebrated his disposal of the Texas rattlesnake and then proceeded to issue a stern warning to every WWE superstar. Hopefully, no one in that ring will ever cross the box because none of you are as big as Vince McMahon. Wait just a minute. The rattlesnake is here. He can't be here. The fired Stone Cold crashed the festivities, making good on his Judgment Day promise. And after spending the entire night tormenting his former boss, Austin wheeled Mr. McMahon to the center of the ring. You're pathetic! On your knees, crying in front of the world. If you want Vince's eyes to pop out in front of his head, give me a hell yeah! says I just pissed my pants. This is the most humiliating, degrading night in Vince McMahon's life. Mr. McMahon was further demoralized when his own son Shane rehired Austin. But McMahon's obsession with eradicating Stone Cold was temporarily placed on the back burner as another superstar's rapid ascension was taking center stage. The Rock is and will forever be the people's champ. The evolution and the development of this young athlete certainly has impressed a lot of fans. The Rock's unprecedented success continued as he was set to compete in the WWE Championship Tournament at Survivor Series. But the people's champion would hit a roadblock on his quest for the WWE title. Hey, Rock, since I have a problem with the people, I have a problem with the people's champion. If you don't defeat Ken Shamrock for the Intercontinental title right here tonight, then you're not going to the Survivor Series. Well, that's not fair. This is a must-win situation for The Rock. He's got to beat Shamrock for the title. And you know the only way a title changes hands is by pinfall or submission. Everything The Rock has worked for, and he earned his way into the Deadly Game Tournament at Survivor Series, is on the line here tonight. Well, I was about to say earlier that The Rock being the number one contender would have earned him a first-round bye at the Survivor Series Tournament. Now, he might not even be in it. Well, The Rock's popularity may have just cost him as far as the evil Mr. McMahon's concerned. Oh, my gosh. Turned inside out. Well, let me say this. When you own the only game in town, the only real game in town, as Mr. McMahon does. You can do any damn thing you want. And that's what we're experiencing here tonight. And many of us have been verbally abused by the boss. But The Rock may have to pay a much higher price. Well, I mean, The Rock was the number one contender when he walked into this ring. And now, when Mr. McMahon comes out here all of a sudden and says if he doesn't defeat Ken Shamrock and win the Intercontinental title, he doesn't even get to go to Survivor Series. I mean, that's unbelievable. Well, one of Mr. McMahon's credos is that he always gives opportunity. We can continue that thought by saying he can take opportunity away from you as well. He taketh away. Yes. So, you are disqualified. Yeah. He can't believe it. You smell like the rock. Oh, no. A disqualification does the rock no good. He didn't win the title. 
The Rock's not going to make it to Survivor Series.